Today's Best Country, Froggy 101. I'm Crockett, and as promised, Hunter Hayes is standing right before me. Hey, dude, this is the nicest uh, studio I've ever been in for an interview. You guys should see this place. It's this grand hall with tons of gorgeous old ceiling type stuff. I say old, but I should say timeless is what I should say. It's gorgeous in here. You pick your words wisely, so something nice. I do not do. <laughs> <laughs> I try. This Sometimes old building. Hey, man, it depends on the time of day. It really does. <laughs> All right, so I was talking to you earlier, but I haven't really said anything. because Yeah, I, you've been awkwardly quiet the entire time. I got time loaded questions, and the very first loaded <laughs> question, you said maybe you should prep me for this. Do you still have that crawfish accordion that you played with Hank Jr.? Oh, yeah, totally. No way. I don't know where it is, but I do still have it, yeah. That was that was a loaded question. My buddy totally. and I were in my basement the other night. Well, that wasn't so bad. You made me, we were, you, well, you had me scared for a minute. I was we were like, drinking. Man. I go, dude, I was like, you got to see this. I was like, Hunter Hayes plays with Hank Jr. Yeah. And he's like, no way. I was like, watch this. And he's like, he watched yeah. it. like, wasn't that incredible? He goes, does he still have that accordion? I was like... <laughs> Of everything you just watched. I do, I do. And he signed it, too, that that, that, that legend of a, a gentleman. I was hoping you were going to bring it tonight. Yeah, it's hard uh, to fly with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's tough to tough to check through uh, check through security. It's so, big. I mean, you, you've played with Hank. Now, who's your favorite that you've ever played with? Oh, favorite? That's impossible, dude. Like, um, give me your top well, five. Oh, I like that you, okay, thank you. I love that you did top five. Okay, all right, I'm going to go with Garth. That's All a, right, that's it. Because uh, it was Garth and Keith at the same wow, time. Wow. Yeah. I know, right? I'm yeah. such a name dropper. Hang on. Let me go pick those up. <laughs> God, everybody's listening going, God, punk. Um, no, I, I, I've got to play with Keith and Garth at this thing for the ACMs, for the Lifting Lives thing, and it was beautiful. Um, Stevie Wonder. Wow. That was a thing. All right. Yeah, that was pretty pretty spectacular. You've got some names to drop here. Man, there I yeah, I'm just I'm I feel like I should probably stop there. No, I feel, I'm, I, I'm impressed. Well no, I just I feel like I don't know. It's funny, music connects a lot of people and I, I you know, I've been dreaming of making music my whole life, so it's it's been cool to see that music and the world that music lives in is just as cool making on the music. inside as it is, you know, from sort of looking out when I was looking to do it doing it, you know what I mean? You're kinda like the next Phil Collins in my mind. Because you Dude, sit on your bus and you, you write everything. I, I, yeah. There's I a, mean, well, you, no, no, but I try. You, know, you, know, <laughs> you have, you have all, you hear all these stories about you. I'm like, man, he's like Phil Collins. And I dropped that name in the studio, and only, only the old guy that works with us. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, Phil Collins is good, and everybody's like, what? And I'm like, no, there's a massive oh, respect man. there. Uh, well, that's I I, I I really appreciate that because I, to me that, that that's a that's a huge compliment because he is a he is a music creator. He just creates, Crazy. creates and creates, and it never stops for him. Um, and I feel like I can say the same thing. So thank you for that. That means a lot. All right, we got top five random qu first. No, we're gonna make six random questions. Okay, so I'm gonna ask everybody today. Number <laughs> one, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Oh, dude, um, Unbroken. Unbroken. That movie that just came out. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I, I guess about six months ago. And you're already making it your favorite? So, yeah, totally. That quick? Absolutely. Absolutely. That it's movie not Ghostbusters 2. Well. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't, Chase Rice was close. He had Top Gun in there. So, I mean, oh, okay, we're gotcha. almost there. I'm, gotcha. Okay. All right. Moving on. Uh, cat person or dog person? I have a greyhound, so I'm a dog person. Oh, it's greyhound's a cool dog. I miss my buddy, man. Yeah, I'm away from him too much. I, I, we take him on the road when we can, uh, but man, when I when I'm flying, obviously I can't take him. He's pretty fragile, actually. So, uh, uh, well, usually yeah. greyhounds are kind of a fragile. Yeah, dog. his name is Cole. Check him out on my Instagram. I've got tons of pictures. Way too many. Do you have any pre-game, like pre-show warm-ups that you do, like superstitions you have to do before every show? I have quite a few. <laughs> well, give me one of them. Um, let's see. Well, there's a there's a bit of a vocal. There's a, definitely a vocal warm up. There's an intense vocal warm up that I do. Um, there's also a lot Is of. Is that why you're kind of a soft spoken guy? You don't want to blow out those vocal or just. Well, soft actually, I've been noticing. Well, you know, I'm 24 now, and I've I've finally I think allowed my voice to change. <laughs> it like when I came out with Storm Running, like my voice was like kind of on the verge of changing, and it changed over the course of two records, and I never gave it the chance to actually do so. So I'm just kind of letting it. But yes, actually, you make a very valid uh, observation. There's a lot of uh, energy con conservation. A lot of big words here. <laughs> I know. But there's no. There's a lot of like just chill time during the day because I, I do. I want to conserve all my energy for the show. I'm really paranoid about that. Like I, I beat myself up about it actually after the show. If I like didn't really? go in with like my like a game, I I dissect it and I figure out why. I got my boss isn't around because your daddy be like, mm, you should take some pointers, Crockett. What's I, that? yeah? What's that? Uh, my, oh, my yeah. boss. Was, <laughs> I walk, I walk out bad show. I'm like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, there's always, always tomorrow. That's another good way to look at it, though. You know, uh, uh, do you have any tattoos? I don't. Would you get a tattoo? I thought about it. I thought, I'm very indecisive. See, I want to get a tattoo of the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. But Legit. I don't, I, I mean. That's good. It seems like, eh, if you were to get someone, what would you get? 
What, what do you mean? It seems like. What do you? What do you mean? You know, like just you seem, seem unsure about it. Which works. Well, me. I feel like my if mother. Get the tattoo, I feel like my mother would be disappointed, and I don't want to make her mad at me. Oh, I know my grandmother would be very disappointed, and so would my mother. But that's why I wouldn't tell them and or show them anytime soon. I just wait until I'm ready. But um, no, I thought about it. I'm just very indecisive, so I feel like. A guy like me who's as, like, indecisive as me picking his favorite movie being, like, six months ago, right? Yeah. Um, I think I, I have to wait, like, five years. And if I want the same thing in five years that I want right now, it's valid. However, if it changes, and I, it has to be at least a five to ten year, like, window. It has to be the same thing. And then I'll think about getting it. Man, so i got to think about it before I think about it. you got a lot it. of thought process going on here. Uh, I know. It's, you're, it's painful. So you're not the kind of guy just jumps in and does it. I'm not. Of thinking. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, I think. I think honestly, on stage is the only time that I'm really like that. Because I am like that on stage. Stuff happens that 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 probably shouldn't happen the way it does. But it's fun. It's it's beautiful, you know. But I do think a lot. Final question. Okay. A lot of people have asked me to ask you. Okay. What's it like sleeping in a hot dog bun? <laughs> you promised you wouldn't ask about that. I had that. to. <laughs> What was that like? Now, how does this work? Because I've been wondering about the mean tweets. Yeah. Is it kind of like a, like when you're there, you just do it, or do they have no. like you all lined up? No. Well, they they um so they were just next door. We did a, a really fun like free show for everybody at the beginning of CMA week. Okay. Um, and I had a bunch of uh, other artists that came by and like donated their time, and we do a big tribute to the USO. Okay. It's a, it's awesome. a big show. So they were right next door, um, and so it was like super easy. We just walked across the street and. Um, and they have like a list of about six or seven. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, um, I, I, you know, there were words in there that I was just uncomfortable repeating in right. front of, uh, in, in in front of the public. <laughs> that's, it, that's, so do you uh, get to pick the one you want to read? No, I had to read a few, which were all very painful. Thank God they chose that one because that one was probably at least they the picked least. a nice one. Yeah, that one was was the was the funniest. That made me chuckle. They all made me chuckle. Um, but it is it is pretty funny. I you know what? And I found out like because I watched it back and I I saw like for instance little big towns and uh, Dan and Shays and all those guys and and I thought you know it's it's so it 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 is so funny. It's like you don't think it would be as funny as it is, but it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guitars of Stars 11 is here tonight. We cannot wait to see you put an awesome show on. Hope we don't let you down. <laughs>